Greetings everyone, this is The Stallion, and uh, I've been getting a lot of uh, emails and comments from um, Deist due to my video about um, why the Deist God fails. Um, there appears to be a, a group out there uh, of Deist who call themselves Deist Reality, and uh, they've been pretty good at uh, giving video responses as well as huge emails to me about how they felt about my video and such. <clears throat> and I'd like to share one of the emails that I got because I don't feel like the email was meant to be kept secret or anything like that, um, that there was any kind of uh, weird innuendos here. So I'm going to talk about the letter. I'm going to read uh, most of it to you. I might read all of it, who knows, and uh, show you one of the reasons why I have a problem with Deist, um, why I get a a bad taste in my mouth, uh, not quite the same as uh, how I feel whenever I'm debating uh, Muslims or Christians or, or even pagans sometimes, but I want to help you understand uh, why it is that I even bothered with Deist. Because some people think of Deist as people who just believe there's a God and he went on his way and they leave him alone and stuff type of deal because they don't seem to be causing anybody any harm. But Although I feel the same way in a lot of aspects in that, I still feel that you should hear, um, you should get a glimpse of what deists think, uh, get an idea where they're coming from. So let me start this email. First, deist reality starts off by saying, Brett, you are not an atheist. You're an agnostic like Richard Dawkins is. First of all, Richard Dawkins is an atheist, and I am an atheist too. And one of the reasons why I'm not agnostic is because agnostics are very strict in how they see things and how they perceive things. The agnostic says it is impossible to know if there is a God or not. It is impossible to know. It's basically a person who's saying, I'm completely unknowledgeable and, and completely uh, ignorant. In a lot of aspects of that definition, I can agree. The problem that I have is the word impossible. You see, if the Christians and the Muslims are right, or the deist is correct, or any of the religions are correct, I will discover at some point in time whether there is a God or not. Um, even if it means that I have to die in order to see that light, um, I feel that if they are right, I will have my answer then. And as most Christians and Muslims would remind me, it would then be too late for me. The agnostic says impossible. I don't agree. If something exists in the universe sooner or later, after time, maybe way later in the future, I will find out. So I can't live by that. The atheist, by definition, is lacking a belief in deities, so in no way is it saying that I have knowledge that there isn't a God. It's no way of me claiming that I know for sure that this and that. But let me explain to you a little bit more specifically where I'm coming from. I do not know how to define a God, just as I do not believe that you know how to define a God. I do not think that any religion out there is. In philosophy, it is believed that if one could define a god, then God no longer has that power, his ability anymore. Because now you have got the power to be able to tell us exactly what it is, the properties and substance of God is. It's strange. It's kind of a, a cute little catchy type situation. But, let's see. You got... The deist does not know, and the pure deist knows also the proper way of understanding this life force that the billions of us give the honorary title of God. Why do you give it the title God for? Why don't you say consciousness? Why don't you say force out in the universe? Why call it a God at all? You do say in your email that you describe it as God and stuff because it's the closest word that you can use. Um... It's primitive men that came up with the word God to try to describe why it is that it rains. It's why is it that people die? Why is it that natural disasters happen and stuff from volcanoes? There's people out there who worship volcanoes and actually put the word God on it. 
There's been people who've been worshiping nature for the longest time, and they call it God. And now the deist comes on the scene, and he wants to use the same word God. Why don't you just use the word mechanism is what I'm getting at. Why does it have to have the entails of a, of a supernatural being? I just don't get it. You say the word God helps us understand the starting point of all things. When asked who created God, this is where we're talking about when we use this word. God is the creator of all that is in reference to itself, has no beginning, and in like manner will have no end. Life is real, and so does God exists. The meaning of the word God should be understood to be as vast in meaning as the creation itself. It's a universally generic word that means different things to different people. We are all deists who believe that God is where we differ in our path of understanding this eternal force. First cause of all things that you deny by calling yourself an atheist. This is one thing that's unusual to me too. How do you know that your version of God is eternal? How do you know that um, some powerful force, uh, maybe an alien species, came along and and just sat there and voila, shot lasers and shit into space and bam, here we are and stuff. Because if we're going to go for this simple, simple answers, which would be, of course, the God story instead of actually using science and seeing things for what they are, natural based, then why don't you just say, well, there's aliens. Maybe there was a, uh, some kind of force that was extremely powerful and intelligent. It created shit, yet at some point in time it died because it wasn't immortal. Why can't you uh, go that far? Why does it have to be an eternal being? From what we see in nature and what we see in life, everything good and bad passes away. Everything dies. But yet you are somehow putting this ability on this character with no education or information of what you know of it. You have no knowledge of it, yet you are going to define it as eternal, that it always was, always is, and always will be. Um, very unusual. It seems like you say that atheists are arrogant and you say that every other religion is arrogant because you feel that atheists have faith and you feel like the religions have faith because later on in your letter you do claim that atheists have faith. Well, we don't. In fact, we lack faith. We lack belief. We lack anything when it comes to this because we don't have no understanding of what a this character is that people are trying to predefine so why is it why why the eternal why why do you also use the word creation for this is the same word that christians and uh, muslims use it almost sounds like you guys are um, stealing the very um, words that christians and, and muslims use to describe their own god story uh, of course, before the Christians and Muslims and Jews had that, the pagans also called creation and uh, story and nature-based uh, stuff. So you also have this idea that atheists um, all agree that Richard Dawkins is somehow our god, our leader, whom we like uh, go out and we buy his books and then we agree with every single thing that he says. This is not the case. There is no two atheists that think alike. The only thing that atheists agree on is that we lack a belief in deities. Um, I have a lot of friends who are atheists as well as agnostic as well as deist, and we do not agree on many, many uh, things, even some of the standard things that one would live through in life. Uh, what we do agree on is that we lack a belief in deity, and even the atheist myself, uh, when dealing with my deist friends, we both acknowledge that we can't define or have any understanding of what a god is because we've never seen one. We've never been able to test it out in any way, and we have no way of testing it out unless, uh, if we're wrong and there is something out there, it allows us some kind of evidence or gives us a little bit of information about itself. But like all gods, uh, they appear to be playing hide-and-seek in the fucking cosmos. So there's no way really to do that. I personally feel like atheism is, um, at this point, the most honest position a person can take. It is the most honest because it basically states that I'm willing to seek the truth, but I'm going to be unbiased of all religions. And you're probably saying, well, what do you mean? 
I'm unbiased for the fact that I sit here and I equal out all the gods the same way I do the Christian God as well as the Muslim God. I lack a belief in all of them because there's no evidence. I treat all the religions fairly and I let them know that I'm open-minded to what you have to say, but until you provide evidence, I'm not going to accept any of your religions and belief systems. And pagans and Christians and Muslims seem to be pretty good at accepting uh, my stance on that. Now, you come along and you state, well, we do have a God and all that. Well, your description of a God is lacking in every single way, which is what I pointed out in my last video. Um, if you would... Uh, like to continue to talk to me and everything, I want you to try to remember that I am not Richard Dawkins, I am not Pat Kendall, I'm not any of the other atheists on the tube or any of these video sites or that you've ever talked to. I am Brett Keen, the atheist, and I have my own fucking ideas about stuff. So don't think that if you argue down something Richard Dawkins said that somehow it's going to prove me wrong you got to deal with me in order to uh, get me over to your ide ideology. Thank you.